Hey, thanks for tuning in. In this video, we will take a look at World Partition in Unreal Engine 5.3 with focus on revision control. So the benefits why World Partition is definitely a big deal is first of all performance. When you work on a huge open world game, World Partition helps you to load and unload content that you need or don't need. It's basically a replacement for level streaming in this case. The second one is connected with revision control. And before World Partition, if you want to work on a level, you have to lock it so that others in your team don't overwrite your work. And this basically slows down the whole development process because only one person can work at a file at a certain time. World Partition introduced something like one file per actor, where it splits the whole level file into multiple actor files. And with that, multiple people can work on the same level at the same time, as long as they don't touch the same actors. In Unreal Engine 5, all new levels have World Partition enabled by default. If we simply create a new level, then in the World Settings, if you don't have this, go to Window World Settings, you can basically see that level streaming is enabled. So we can preview this also, if you enable preview grids, that we see some kind of these grids here in this case. And these grids will show us which content will be loaded and which one will be not loaded when we press play mode. And that's basically what the world partition does. It puts a grid on your whole level. Now let's take a look at it on a more concrete case. Let me open up the content drawer and let me open up a real world example. So here I'm using the isometric world sky temple from Game Assets Factory, which I got from the Epic Game Store. And this map has world partition not enabled yet. So if I move, for example, an actor and I save it, now I can go to my source control application. I'm using anchor point here, but this basically works with any kind of source control solution. You see that the map file is basically located here because any change is stored in the map file itself. To make this a world partition level, to display the difference, we need to convert this level first. So I go to tools, world partition, convert level, and now I need to browse to my map and let me open this up. And I don't want to convert this in place because I would like to have both next to each other. And now we will start the conversion. All right, the conversion is finished. Let's open up the level under the content drawer and we have the level with underscore WP. And now if it's shown up empty, you need to load the content. And for that, go to the World Partition Editor. You can get it under Window, World Partition, World Partition Editor. And here you need to zoom in. Make also sure that Show Actors is enabled. You zoom in. You can pan with the right mouse. And at some point you will see these bounding boxes here. And these are all your actors from the top view. We want to load them all. So you need to draw a rectangle and then do a right click and say load region from selection. And this will load all of them in this case. So let's see what happened in source control because we created that level, we created a bunch of new files. So if I open up anchor point, it will show me that I have 2,999 files, and this should be very close to the numbers of actors I should have. So if I open up Unreal, I have like 2,988 actors, plus a little bit of overhead, but usually the number of actors should correspond with the number of files, which it does in this case. So these files are basically not really files, they are all these actors. So the real file behind them is, when we look at this in the Windows Explorer, is this little hashed U asset file, which is very, very small. And it's also located in a pretty cryptic directory. So if you go and browse up, you can see that this is not really human readable, all of that. But later, you can see that the whole structure matches the structure in the content browser. So here we have the name of our map. If we go one step above, we have the folder of our maps. Then we have the name of our project and so on and so on. So the structure matches basically the structure in the content browser. Normally, you will never touch this folder here again. The only thing to notice is that you see actors here and any kind of change you make will be on the actor level. Let's first of all commit this to revision control. Let's name this converted to world partition and simply press push. Good, so this will upload in the background and we can go back to Unreal and make a change. So let me do some similar changes what I have done before by simply moving some rocks. And now you see that the star is located here on the actor and not on the level itself. So if I, for example, change other objects and move them around, I get two of them. And now I have also two unsaved files instead of one single file. And if I save these basically and go back to anchor point, only these two actors are changed here. So I can also submit this and my commit will be really light because these files are very small. 
And that's basically all. Another great thing is that since Unreal Engine 5.1, every revision control system works also with one file per actor. So if we open up Unreal again, and let us enable revision control here, and we'll connect to revision control. Normally, I don't recommend using the internal Git plugin. There are better Git plugins there, but in this case, it's totally fine. We'll pick this and accept the settings. Because there, I can also open up on the revision control, I can open up the history. And here I can see the whole history only of this single actor, which is pretty nice. So do I need world partition to work with one file per actor? You don't need it necessary. It's recommended, but it's not mandatory. Let us look at the previous file we had. So the previous map, which was not converted to world partition. If we go to the world settings and we go down to world, and under advanced, if we enable external actors, it will do a similar conversion like it had done before. So if we click on yes, all these actors are unsaved right now. And if I save them and go to anchor point, all these files are showing up as actor files here. So when does it make sense to use world partition and when not? So it makes a lot of sense if you are building open world games because with world partition you get all these performance optimizations which you don't get here with only enabling one file per actor. Where you maybe don't need this is when you for example work on cinematics which is definitely useful to enable this one file per actor approach so that multiple people can also work on the same level file but you don't need the whole performance optimizations in this case. So keep also in mind that the usage of external actors without world partition was also marked as experimental for a long time. It still is in the documentation, but in Unreal Engine 5.3, it's not marked as experimental in the user interface anymore. All right, I hope you learned something useful about world partition and one file per actor so that this can improve your collaboration workflow in Unreal Engine. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.